Hey guys, you're listening to the Inspirational Power Hour. And listen, we're so very excited today because we have back with us. This is a, a very, very talented young lady and she and her sister have been in the gospel industry for a long time. And uh, you know her from the hit TV show, Mary Mary. And I'm talking about none other than Miss Tina Campbell. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm wonderful, ma'am. Listen, thank you again for taking time and talking with us today. Thank you for making the time for me. I appreciate it. All right, now, Miss Tina, last time you and I spoke, you were sharing with us uh, through everything that you've been through what ultimately became a book and a brand new CD project. And at the time, you didn't have details and release dates, but you are back to share with us. I think we got some release date and some street dates. Is that correct? Well, yeah. Well, I just got some brand new surprise news last night. Um, the thing about releasing your your, your, your your books and your albums and music and stuff like that digitally, sometimes, you know, it, it, it can take a minute to process and upload and to become available, but sometimes it happens really quickly. So my book is actually available right now. Um, I Need a Day to Pray is available everywhere online. Uh, you know, I, I had a family that went and found it on Amazon was like, let's just go see if it's there early. And they went and found it. So I, you know, because my all of my efforts and energies were committed to the date, you know, the, the release date of May 7th, I didn't even consider that, you know, it could possibly upload earlier, but it did. So um, my, my book, I Need a Day to Pray, which was basically my journal to God to try to confess my way to freedom and, and, and victory, it's available now, and the book, uh, the music, uh, uh, it's personal, will be available on the 7th. And uh, The Evening with Tina Campbell, which is a dramatic stage presentation that incorporates the music and the book, that's May 30th in L.A., and then it'll tour the U.S. in the fall. All right, guys, listen, you heard it here. You can go everywhere that music and books are sold, and you can pick up the book, I Need a Day to Pray, as well as the new music. Now, about this book, Miss Tina, what is the one thing, what's your prayer? What is the one thing that you want people to take away from this book, from your experiences? It's simply that God would do for them what he did for me. I was broken. I was uh, hopeless. I was feeling despair. I was wanting to give up. I was homicidal. I was suicidal. Um, I just felt like it was nothing left for me to give to life. And, and if it was, it was too hard to manage it. Um, but I turned to God and I turned to him all the way. I let go of all of me. I came to the end of me. So I let go of all of me and I took on all of him. And he gave me exactly what he said. He says, I come to give you life and life more abundantly. And that's what God gave me. As a mother, as a wife, as a woman, uh, uh, as, a, as a sister, um, as a minister of the gospel, as a songwriter, as a creative person, as an entrepreneur, all I'm experiencing these days is abundant life. And that's not that everything in my life is perfect and I have every single thing I've ever wanted. I am just so hopeful that whatever God has for me is for me and that God can do exceeding abundantly above all that I could ask or think. And I'm asking and thinking a whole bunch of things. And if I submit my life to him, if he's going to outdo that, I'm content with that. That's all I focus on every day. So I'm happy. I'm, I'm filled with joy. I'm filled with hope. And I'm looking forward to every day because of that. And you know, Tina, the last time we spoke, it was prior to uh, everything kind of playing out and unfolding on the show for the world to see. Um, and I have to ask you this because these these issues are absolutely nothing that most women and even women in the church have not dealt with. But do you wish you would have not allowed it to play out publicly and did it in front of the cameras? Do you wish maybe you had kind of kept it private and kept it to yourself? Not at all, girl. Not at all. I'm so happy for what God allowed. I'm so happy that God let me and the whole world see what happens with life when you're doing life your way, making your own choices that are contrary to his will, and you're trying to work everything out, figure everything out. And then he lets the world see how it all comes together when you give it all to him. I'm so grateful. At first, I used to be like, God, why did you do that to me? And I was like, I'm leaving you. I'm done with faith, Jesus, and all. I don't want none of it. Um, but now I look at it and I say, wow, God, you did that for me. You didn't do it. To you did that for me. You mm. love me so much that you let me make a fool of myself, me and my husband, on our own, doing things our own way. And then you made a, a big blessing and an encouragement to the whole, to ourselves and the whole world out of us just because we came to you. I am absolutely grateful that uh, I took the chance to try to heal on TV, uh, not knowing what, how it would unfold and how it would all play out. But now I have actually healed while everybody was watching. And I did it because I ran to Jesus and gave him my all. So I'm so grateful that I did what I did. I did not feel that way in the process. All right, so let's talk about this new music. The CD is entitled It's Personal. So tell us what that means. Why that title? Because that's exactly what it is. It's personal. I, uh, 
I didn't know that I was making a record for other people. I thought I was just making music for myself to sing to myself and encourage myself and remind myself and pick myself up and dance to and praise God to in my own personal time and, you know, reflect on. I didn't know it was for the world. I didn't know I was, I didn't, while this album was being, all these songs were coming to me, I didn't know I was going to do a solo album. Again, I just thought it was for me. And, you know, ultimately what I ended up with about seven or eight songs, I was like, I think I'm supposed to do an album. And so um, I'm able to share what God used to heal me, what God used to encourage me, what God used to speak life into me. When sometimes praying wasn't working, when sometimes I couldn't even read the Bible, I was just so jacked up, I couldn't even, I couldn't even do nothing but just sit there and just look out in the space. You know, it was music that I was playing, Mary Mary old music and Mary Mary new music that nobody has heard yet, and music that God was giving to me to encourage myself. I played before, I played my little audio version of these songs before it was music and production. I play it to myself before prayer, after prayer, in the middle of the day, high times, low times. I was just always connecting with this music to, uh, to, to just kind of um, chronicle this experience and this process of, you know, healing. And so I'm grateful to be able to share it with the world. And it, it, again, it was very personal. It was just for me and the Lord. It wasn't for nobody else. So that's why I called it that because it's, it's, it's very personal. I wrote all of the songs. Two of them, uh, my husband co-wrote with me, but pretty much all of them, they're my own stories, my own perspective, my own testimonies. And so it made sense to call it personal. All right. And listen, the lead single from that CD is entitled My Destiny. And we're going to take a listen to that very soon. But tell us what's next for Miss Tina. Seems like you have everything going on. So what's next? Well, there's a new music. There's a new CD. And it's all being brought to you by a new company, my husband and my company called G Tree Creative. We are uh, we are independent doing this. Um, the first time I, I, I've ever done anything independent. I've been with Sony for 15 years with, with Mary Mary, but this is independent. Um, um, and so that's, you know, that's new. Trying to navigate being my own company that puts everything out, that's new. The Evening with Tina Campbell, um, G Tree Creative is also the force behind promoting uh, the Evening with Tina Campbell, which is the dramatic presentation of this music, as well as the excerpts from the book and the testimonies and stories of how it all came about, what happened to get me that, that, that produced this music, how bad it was in the middle of the process and how amazing it is now that God has uh, brought us to freedom and, and, and helped us to, to get through this process. Um, so, And it's a very, very candid testimony. It's a very, very candid, very frank, very honest, more so, more so than anything I could have ever conveyed on the show. This presentation is probably the truest version of everything that happened, how it happened, and how it is now. So um, we're also doing that. And outside of that, I'm still a mother of five kids and a wife, and I still got to manage all of that. So I've got a, quite a bit uh, quite a bit happening right now, but I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to um, have God strengthening me, empowering me, and giving me the grace uh, to do it. The evening with Tina Campbell will tour in the fall after the kickoff event in May out here. So um, that's kind of what's consuming all my time right now. All right, guys, so listen, make sure that you go and you pick up this music CD is entitled, it's personal. The book is entitled, I Need a Day to Pray. Now listen, Miss Tina, somebody, I, I heard a little something, a little birdie told me that you just celebrated a birthday, is that true? My birthday, yeah. Well, we definitely want to wish you a belated happy birthday. And listen, I hope you do like I do, celebrate all month. You know, is, is that what you're gonna do? Well, I, I usually do, but I don't have time for that. I'm too busy working this celebration. It's gonna be, I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be. My birthday celebration is going to be a, 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 my book and record coming out and doing really well and my event coming to L.A. and doing really well. That'll be my birthday present. All right, so our present for you is going to be telling everybody to pick up this music and this book. Well, thank you. And can I tell everybody how to get in contact with me? Yes, ma'am. We want all of that information. You can go to my website, which is IamTinaCampbell.com to find out everything that I've got going on. Um, I'm on YouTube, Martina Campbell YouTube channel. You can hear um, you can hear snippets of my five songs from my new record, as well as you can hear um, you hear me read uh, excerpts of two of the chapters, two of the prayer prayers from my book. Um, you can reach me on Twitter at I am Tina Campbell, and I'm on Instagram uh, Teddy and Tina. I'm at Teddy and Tina on Instagram. So you know, come check me out and be my friend and follow along and see what God is doing and, and uh, yeah, all that stuff. All right, and thank you again, Tina. Listen, and we're about to take a listen to this single. And you know what? I want you to set it up, introduce it to our listeners. Okay. Well, hey, everybody. This is Tina Campbell, and this is the song. This is my autobiography. 